So here's here's my selfish question and situation, if it's okay. Absolutely. So again, in March, um, I lost my biological father. Oh, I'm sorry. I was the oldest child, but we were estranged for 14 years. But I was responsible. You know what I mean? Like it was, it was very, it was different. It was different. So I kind of have two questions because one of the things there's like the technical stuff, right? Like, would you have any advice for people who are in that situation? But then there was this guilt stuff, this, well, him and his mother passed away within a week of each other. And of course I was still in my corporate job at the time. And I remember them asking me something about days off and I'm like, well, technically I have six, you know, like, let me sort this out in my head. Um, But I, I guess what, was surprising to me was I didn't expect to have grief around him. And, and, and I, I went back and actually said to someone else who doesn't talk to their father in double digit years as well. And I said, listen, you have this opportunity, take it, take it from me. You have this opportunity to kind of sort through that stuff. So any words of wisdom, I guess, for estranged or difficult situations from, uh, I don't know how to make it better. Like I was so confused. I didn't feel entitled to grieve almost. It was, it was a bizarre feeling. Well, first of all, I'm sorry, you know, for your loss, because it is a loss, but it's been a loss a long time. It's not a current loss. You've been in a state of grief for a while because you lost the relationship. What'd you say? 14 years ago. You know, this, this is stuff of therapy. Um, And this is the kind of thing that I would, you know, say to people, this is about if you know the person, you know, you said you were the oldest. Well, with being the oldest child, because I'm the oldest too, um, there come certain quote unquote expectations of who you are and what you'll do and what you'll take care of. And so um, it's if you can, whoever's listening, if you can work through this on your own terms, find a therapist, find someone that you feel comfortable with working this out. It's about setting boundaries. I am a huge proponent of boundary setting. And it's about learning to be open with what has happened in your life. You don't have to like it, but it's about learning to deal with it in your way, not in their way. Because what you're talking about, there could be trauma, There could be abuse. There could be, there's lots of different parts to this. And I don't want to make it too simplistic because it's a very complex issue. Um, But there's various things that each person who would be in an estranged situation from a biological parent that they need to work through for themselves. You're not doing it for your father. You're not doing it for that other person. You're doing it for yourself. And you can get to a place where with a good therapist that you can set some boundaries and so that you can come to and already begin the grieving process. Like I said, I think you've probably been grieving for a long time. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was interesting. Thank you. Because like like I said, the longer I sat here and knowing that I even know another person in a similar situation, I just thought it was a great point. Um. So I still think this would make an amazing Christmas gift for so many people. So how do people find you? Well, uh, first, let me address the Christmas gift piece. Um, it is a, a wonderful Christmas gift. And if there are people that are interested in the, the process and they want to do it kind of as a Christmas gift, let me make this suggestion. If you're an adult child, say, I don't know, 30s, 40s, 50s, I've just read some posts a few moments ago. And there were some people in the post on Facebook that were in their 30s that are in the sandwich generation, caring for their aging parents, but also have children. You could do this with your aging parents because some aging parents are not technologically savvy. And so you could actually give this to them and sit with them at the computer and ask them the questions and sort of help them fill it out and help them through the process. It could actually be a family event. 
So this is something, because you can't do it all in one sitting, obviously, but it's something that they could do as a family. You know, if you've got teenagers, you could get the teenagers involved and let them type in, ask the questions and type in the answers. And it could be sort of a family fun event. Like I said, it doesn't have to be morbid. It can be a lot of fun. Um, But the way people can get in touch with me is they can, I'm on Facebook at Butler Counseling and Consulting, um, or they can look on Facebook for The Guardian's Gift. They can find me that way. I'm also on LinkedIn and Instagram, uh, Dr. Judy Butler or at Butler Counseling Consulting. And so they can find me on Alignable. They can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. I think that's all of those. Um, And I have a website. So I have a website, butlercounselingandconsulting.com. Perfect. We'll get we'll get all of that definitely published as well. Is there anything, I, I know I didn't cover entrepreneur stuff as much as I think I normally would have expected, but I love where this went and I learned so much and I got so much value. So I'm sure the audience did as well. Is there anything that you wanted to mention or share that I might not have gotten to that kind of a question? Um, there's so many questions, uh, that if somebody wants to, um, contact me at my, give me an email, send me an email, ask me a question. I'll be glad to answer it for them. It's Judy at Butler Counseling Solutions with an S.com. They can email me, but I do have a gift for your listeners. And if your listeners are interested, I have a PDF document. It's a, it's a guide of how to have conversations, or it's actually called Closer to Closure, uh, 12 Actions for 12 Conversations. So it's a guide about the conversations. It's a guide, sort of a checklist of things that you might want to think about or get done, wills, trust, and um, medical, healthcare, power of attorney, those kinds of things. So if they're interested in it, it is free. It typically sells for $37 on my um at the school's website, and uh, but they can get that if they will just send me an email and say, you know, I was listening to you and Bobby talk and uh, on her podcast, and because I was listening to that, you said something about this free offer of Closer to Closure, and I'll send it to them. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much, Dr. Butler. That is awesome. Absolutely. All right. Now I'm really curious about, this is my last little fun surprise question. Okay. Once I start publishing, everybody will know what my question is, so I'll have to change it. But top of mind, it doesn't have to be business, but what is your favorite book? Um, The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Perfect. It's actually a child's book, but I love it. Okay. I'm having so much fun with this question because it's the answers are so diverse. I kind of expected everybody to say Napoleon Hill or Dale Carnegie, but that's not what's happening. So <laughs> it's another uh, piece of the puzzle that's very interesting. So thank you for that. Mm-hmm. Well, I really appreciate all your time today. I got so much value out of this. I love the message that we should be talking about death and dying. Like that's one of my biggest takeaways. Mm -hmm. that there's options that this experience could almost be fun setting it up. Like when you talked about family time at the computer prepping it. And then with your career and your history, like we're never too old to change. It doesn't matter where we come from. It matters where we're going and being a a lifelong learner. So those are my biggest takeaways. Wonderful. That's exciting. I'm glad you got that. That's I've done my job today. (laughs) You did fabulous. So Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.